A twist of events on an MTS bus. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee. And I'm Jesse Pagan in for Carlo Chiquetto. A rider who helped a woman who was being attacked on a city bus is in jail right now. He's facing possible murder charges, but CBS 8's Anna Laurel just found out that could soon change. That's right. This afternoon, we were expecting Edward Hilbert to be arraigned in court. He's being held for murder charges, but that didn't happen. I spoke with a defense attorney today who says the district attorney is being extra cautious because the details of this case are so unusual. They need to play up the fact that that guy was trouncing on this woman, beating her. The rest of the people, you know, were alarmed by it and we're waiting for someone to step in. They, Defense they attorney Gretchen Von Helms is not an attorney on this case, but she is surprised about what happened on a city bus this weekend. A male uh, that ultimately died, the decedent in this case, got into a disturbance with a female that was on the bus. Um, that disturbance became violent. Several other passengers on the bus uh, interceded, ended up uh, restraining the male. A police statement I received this afternoon says Edward Hilbert held Anthony McGaff down to stop him from attacking a woman on the bus. McGaff became unconscious and eventually died. Police then arrested Hilbert for murder. To charge someone, all you need is a little bit of evidence. To convict someone, you need a whole bunch of evidence. Von Helm says prosecutors only want to charge cases they think they can prove to a jury. In this case, the answer may not be so clear. But if he was a typical Good Samaritan and was just trying to get the guy off of the woman, I think that the jury is really going to be understanding of that. We don't know what started the whole thing on the bus Saturday night. We don't know the history of either man or the woman involved. We do know that tonight, San Diego prosecutors are looking at all of the evidence before they decide what to do about Hilbert. I have never seen in San Diego a Good Samaritan charged with murder. That's very unusual. In San Diego, Anna Laurel, CBS 8. And just moments ago, the district attorney's office told Anna Edward Hilbert will be released from jail. They say the case remains under review and there's no timeline for when that will be done. 28-year-old Raul Marquez pleaded not guilty today in the murder of 67-year-old Floyd Budd. Investigators say officers found Bud stabbed to death in his home on Bowdoin Avenue in Claremont early Monday morning. They say Marquez was standing in Bud's driveway holding a knife with blood all over his clothes when they arrived.